Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a BoxyCharm try-on. I didn't do like an unboxing for this month and I've never actually done like a try-on just from BoxyCharm. So I'm just gonna be trying on the stuff that I got or most of the stuff and be showing you what I got using it, telling you how I like it. So yeah, also I'm in a different setup in my room so you can't see how messy it is. But I also just kind of wanted to change up the setup. So here we are. Let's go ahead and get started. So I just washed my face. Now I'm going to be doing eyebrows since I already like primed and stuff because I'm just focusing on like the stuff that I got in my boxy charm. The first thing that I'm gonna be using is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. So basically on one side, it's a brush and then the other side is just like a cream. It's really unique because you don't really like really see this type of product everywhere. I'm curious to see how it works. I'm also curious to see if it's my shade. So, okay, one thing that it doesn't have is a spoolie that kind of stinks. So I'm gonna go get one really fast. Guys, I wore a skirt to school today and it's actually like really cute. It's new. Oh gosh, I'm going to fall. If you watched, watched one of my recent videos, I put it in a haul. I don't even remember the last time I wore a skirt, let alone to school. So that was a little different, but it was fun. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Hopefully the lighting is like fine. Can't really tell if it's good or not. I don't know if that made it better or worse. Okay, it actually seems to be a decent shade and the brush isn't like awful. Like it doesn't really get it perfect, but like I did that really fast. Like on an everyday basis, I just use clear eyebrow gel, but like if I'm doing like a makeup look, I always fill in my eyebrows so it like completes it. This eyebrow is always so hard to do because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have like a scar there. So it's kind of like there right there and it's hard to get the line to look good. Okay, honestly, it's not too bad. It's a little darker than I would usually go for. Like, like it's not really the, quite the shade that I would go for. Okay, also this lighting is like so much better. Kind of tempted to move the angle. Yeah, I definitely should. Like over here, it's just, it's like cuter. But over here, the lighting is way better, okay. The next step, I'm gonna just put clear brow gel in my eyebrows but this eyebrow gel is almost out and i need to get a new one i think it's basically out cool now i'm going to clean up my eyebrows and then i'll be i forgot there's a sidewalk right outside my window and people walk by but it's okay it's fine. someone just walked by i'm going to clean up my eyebrows and then i'll be ready to do eyeshadow so they're like kind of cleaned up. They're honestly, it's nothing special, but now I'm gonna just take this ColourPop concealer and prime my eyelids. In this BoxyCharm, I got an eyeshadow palette and I'm actually so excited to try this out. Never like had a palette from this brand. This is the Pure Festival palette. This month is the month of Coachella. So I'm guessing that's kind of what they based it off of. Hence the word festival and Coachella is a music festival if you don't know. The packaging is literally so cute. And then when you see the colors in this, I think they are so pretty. This is what the packaging looks like. It looks like the outer packaging too. These are the colors in it. I don't have a palette that has like all of these colors in it. And honestly, this actually has some colors that I don't already have. Like these glitter colors over here. Those are just so pretty. And then, I don't know, just like the whole palette I think is really nice. This is the palette I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow. My mom just brought home dinner. So I'll be back to do the eyeshadow. <laughs> now I'm going to get on to the eyeshadow. In this box, they also included some brushes and these are from the brand Luxie. This is their Summer Days brush set and there's three of them. I'm actually so excited that they included brushes. I don't know, I feel like brushes is one thing that you just can't have too much of. Let's just go ahead and get started. I also have all my eyeshadow brushes by me because it's three aren't enough. So I'm first gonna just take this brush. It's by the brand Cosmobella and I'm gonna go into this shade called Epic. <laughs> Okay, that's actually like really pigmented already. I feel like even just by like the first shade you use, you can kind of see if like a palette is gonna be good or if you're gonna like it and already I know I'm gonna like it. This type of layout is like my favorite type of layout for eyeshadow palettes. I don't know, something about them just makes me like them. I guess the look I'm going for is gonna be like a warm tone look and then just like a pop of color, I guess, because it does have like a couple 
things we could do for that. That was my plan. My plan was to put like pink on my lower lash line for a pop of color. And then I just forgot to do that. So I meant to put pink on my lower lash line and make like a warm tone look with color, like I said. And then I just forgot. I don't know how but i did and obviously there's a lot of looks that you can do with this palette but okay so then i'm actually going to use the same brush again because it's like just a really good brush and go into the shade hidden desert which is just this darker shade right there and i'm gonna use this like on my outer part of my eye and kind of like into the crease but like focus it more than the last shade. So as you guys may know, I do have a makeup Instagram. I'm just really bad at posting videos on there. And I actually really want to start like posting them more, but I don't know, I just love YouTube videos because like you can talk or you can do videos that like don't require you to talk. It's like whatever, YouTube, you can just be so creative, but I feel like with Instagram, I can't do that as much. And I guess that's just what I like about YouTube so much. Kind of just make it your own. I don't know, but I'm always on my makeup instagram so if you want to go follow that feel free to and i'm always posting on my story but i just need to post actually then i'm going to take a smaller brush and this is also a luxie brush this i got in either my last boxy charm no i think it was like my second to last boxy charm i'm not really sure but i'm gonna go in with this darkest brown shade called all night and just kind of like focus that on the out side of my eye and into the crease a little it's been so long since i've like done makeup like i mean i do makeup like every day for school but obviously it's not like a whole look and i don't know i just haven't really like sat down and like played with makeup in a while if this just doesn't turn out as good then that's why i just haven't i've just so out of practice i haven't done it in a while also i'm trying to kind of like expand my content a little more because as much as i love makeup i know that's not just what you guys want to see i'm trying to like think of more ideas because i don't want you to guys to get like bored you know my mom is coming down probably to check and see if i put away my clothes okay now i'm gonna go in with the luxie brush one of them that i got in this boxy charm and i'm just gonna take some more ColourPop concealer and just do like a quick half cut crease honestly i kind of wish i would like a full cut crease now because i haven't done that in a while and i feel like that could have looked cool <laughs> honestly half cut creases like when i do makeup is like my go-to because it can make your look look so much more like put together even if you didn't put that much effort into it and i feel like i can do them pretty fast now also guys i just figured out that today like just today that i am now on famous birthdays i kind of just like don't understand that at all because so many celebrities are on famous birthdays and like never in a million years would i thought i would be on that like that never even like crossed my mind i'm now going to use one of these glitters because i just want to use them so bad i'm gonna go and swatch both of them because i want to see what they both look like so you got fireworks and 24 karat magic okay yeah these are like glitter those are so pretty yeah that's just like a pressed glitter i'm gonna use 24 karat magic which is the gold one good enough for now i'm gonna take like i think this is the first brush that we took and go into hidden desert which is the medium brown shade i'm gonna zoom back out i'm gonna blend the glitter and that shade together i feel like this look would look so much better with falsies i'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on my top eyelashes and see how it looks but i think i'm gonna have to add falsies for it to actually look good oh my gosh you know what i forgot with the palette it comes with an eyeshadow primer which i should have used but I'll save it for another time. The last two things in the box, one of which I'm not going to be using today. I'm actually going to be selling it on my Poshmark just because I can't see myself using it really. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. This is just like not something I would use and it's also not my shade on top of that. I'm going to take it out of the box just so I can show you because if one of you wants it, it's a really pretty shade. It's just not something I would like use. I haven't like touched i mean i haven't like got into it i went my beauty blender and i'm going to do my face makeup so i'm just gonna kind of time lapse this until i get to where i need to be
Okay, so I did concealer, blush, and I powdered my face. I'm going to use this Luxie brush. This is a small contouring brush. I'm going to use it with my bronzer. I don't know. It's going to be like more detailed bronzing, but... Okay, so I just kind of bronzed up my face. I don't know. It wasn't my favorite for it just because it was like not very like blended there since I would usually use like a brush like this I don't know I just wasn't like fast enough either for like my day-to-day -day use and I know that's like not really what it's for it's not really for bronzer but it'd be good for contouring but I just don't really do contouring that often I'm just gonna use this ColourPop highlighter since I'm not gonna be using the artist couture one and this one is in the shade lunch money and this is such a good highlighter I'm gonna finish the eyeshadow just like the lower lash line basically Okay, that looks a little funny. Please just know that this would look better with fake eyelashes. Also, I forgot to use this brush. I'm gonna do a little mascara on the lower lash line. My lashes just don't look good. Last but not least, I'm gonna use this lip gloss that I got in my BoxyCharm. And this is the Appeal Cosmetics Holographic Lip Gloss. And it's in the shade Posh. It's just like this greeny bluish gloss. Wait, okay, so that's actually like super natural without a lot of layers. That's actually really natural. I just dipped into it three times and it really didn't do a whole lot. So I actually like that more than I thought I would. So yeah, this is the look and it's something like super duper special, but I'm just gonna tell you the prices of all the items in the BoxyCharm and then I'll give you my thoughts on the things. Also, don't roast me for this eye look. I look I could have done better. The Pure Palette is $36. This palette I actually really, really like. I love the packaging. I love the eyeshadows, the colors. Honestly, I rate this palette 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. The Luxie brushes, I realized I didn't use one of them, but I know I really like it because it's just like the same as the other ones, just a different shape. These are really nice brushes, so I'd give these great rating as well and these are $28 the artist couture diamond glow powder I'm selling on my Poshmark and it retails for $27 but obviously it'll be marked down on my Poshmark the lip gloss is $21 it really just doesn't look like anything quite honestly it just looks like a regular lip balm with like a little bit of glow to it I don't know there's nothing super special about it like it doesn't really look holographic at all it's just kind of like a nice gloss. I do like the formula though. Last but not least, the Chella Beauty Eyebrow Cream. It matches my eyebrows, kind of, but it's just like not quite the right shade. It's a little bit cool toned and like just ashy a little bit, but honestly, it's like a good, it's a pretty good product. It's good. Don't get me wrong. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys that I do have a BoxyCharm link. It's not an affiliate link at all. Like, it's, I paid for this BoxyCharm with my own money. But if you do purchase BoxyCharm through my link, it'll help both of us out. So if you do get BoxyCharm, um, make sure to use the link down below and my code. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Three.